Hey guys, Chrome Tiro here. Not sure what this exactly is going to be. I realized there were some holes in the schedule, so I decided to try to put something there. Uh, I kind of debated about playing this game or not. Because, not that it's a bad game or anything, but it's just highly unusual. Let's turn this down a little bit. language learning game actually. It's called Learn Japanese to Survive. They have the Hiragana Battle version, which I have here. They also have the Katakana and Kanji versions that I have. I bought this a while ago on a Steam sale, so this is not a free game, but it's an interesting game to me because it's about, well, Japanese. And it's like something something interesting that people don't normally make games about, so we're going to play it a bit and see. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's get moving. I did have a previous save file, but I'm going to choose a new game because it's been so long since I actually did anything with this game. So, not sure what this says. I'm sure some of this says, but not all. And it talks about uh, the adventure, so on and so forth. It's going to walk us through. You'll see this just reminds me of several other games. It reminds you of several other games as well. Most likely. Ah, the tavern. <laughs> the bartender is patently unaware of any of these issues. The chef. Random. Ah, uh, Leon. Yes. <laughs> I'm confused about this backstory. <sighs> okay, fine. You got me there. Alright, so this is the... I remember parts of this, but not all of it, because I didn't get very far into the game. Hmm. Some of it, but not all of it. There are certain symbols. This middle one I'm not aware of, but the others I know a little bit. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, this might be Japanese for hello. I am not sure. There are some parts of it that might be that I understand, but not all of it. <laughs> and this is goodbye. I think. I think this takes you through very slowly, as far as I'm aware, but I didn't get. He's up to evil now, because that's a little odd. Okay, so he is up to evil. He has blasted everybody to smithereens. So, so and so appears. The magic staff, it looks like. Oh, okay. So, it's going to be um, learning Japanese to dispel the warriors, I suppose. Okay. Now, uh oh, I think this is kind of the part in every RPG, or not every RPG, but a lot of them, where we're supposed to lose because we don't exactly know what's going on. It's a bit of a tease. So, oh, we can't escape. It's ghosted out. So it's going to, in that sense, make us. And we just punch. Since I don't can't interpret it, I can't do any damage. I kind of wish there was a thing where you could do auto battle, but I don't think you can because of the nature of the state. And then it takes us out for the one hit. Okay. 
so he's a Japanese speaking dude he's a mage and he's conquering villages why I don't know but it's interesting because we have to stop him for some reason or other I don't know if the three games in this series are connected and I may never find out I am not sure Okay, so he didn't really conquer the village, he just had a display of power to like, I could just stomp this place whenever I chose. And then he went on. be Masaki. I'm Claire. Nice to meet you, Claire. I've been informed about your situation. As is a polite way of saying I heard you were getting your butts handed to you. Just like the strange maze that caused the damage here. Yeah, it's just ah, weird. Noburo. Okay. It's weird that they'd have to never mind. Never mind. My people have been trying to defeat him for generations. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder why that is. Well, no, not that they were trying to defeat him, but why they haven't yet succeeded. I don't know. We might have to play the game for a long time before we figure that out. But she's talking about Japanese teaching. First, let's head inside where we're not freezing our butts off. He'll... Anyone can count on you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, funny. All right, taking notes. Ah, take notes. Oh, breaking the fourth wall. That means me, Hacha. All right. Katakana is used exclusively to rep, almost exclusively to represent words from foreign languages and kinds. She's a complex character set far from Chinese picture symbols. Yeah, there are thousands. If I'm not mistaken, based on what little I studied of it, there are thousands of kanji. But there are only 46 basic, 46 basic hiragana characters. Uh, you can also make an additional 25. Okay, so we're up to 71 in total. Yep, take a break and come back with a refreshed mind. That's why I'm not going to have these videos be too long. So I'm going to get fatigued. The first five here are gonna. Alright, fowls. We're gonna write and pronounce it. Okay, we'll travel outside the village and fight them here are gonna warriors. The short vowels. We would say A, E, U, E, and O. In English. Uh. So, ah. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to use uh, I'm gonna have to use mnemonics here. So we have a lowercase English T. Looks like it's got a lasso wrapped around the base. This is ah, but it's the English short A. Uh. Okay, so down here, cross here, and loop around. Over here, down here, and loop around. Okay. Horizontal line is slightly curved. You draw the character in three separate strokes. So one, two, three. So three separate strokes, or as we would say, only lifting the pen three times. Hmm. Let's see the writing animation again, really quick. Across, down. Let's, let us continue. E. This is E. This is actually the equivalent of the long E in English, even though it looks like an I. I found that rather uh, confusing. I would say, at, at first, this one is uh, e. almost like, like horns or something like that. It's just two strokes with one that's a little spike right here and another one like that. It's down. That. The 
The first line is slightly longer, and both lines are slightly curved. Okay. This is ooh. Even though it looks like you, that was interesting to me. I have studied Japanese a little bit. So this is this is more of a refresher. It's between a refresher and starting fresh because I lost most of what I learned because it was a long time ago now. So this is ooh. All right, so we've got like a little, I don't know, almost like a duck bill at the top, and then we have like a ginormous apostrophe at the bottom here. This is ooh. Okay. Okay, like that, and it's curved. Almost like writing, almost like drawing half a heart or something right here, so that's ooh. Ooh. The whole character is vertically long and make sure you tilt the top stroke properly to tilt the top stroke. Tilt it. Okay. Alright. So after, if I can get to the point where we do our first fight with the Hiragana Warriors outside town, I think that'll be a good spot to end it. Eh. This is it. Okay, so now we've got the same as the other with the duck bill looking thing. Now we have like the number seven with a cape or something or a tail or a cape. I guess a cape would be up a little higher. I don't know. I don't think people have capes in the middle of their back, do they? I hope not. Eh. This is it. Eh. Okay. One more time. The whole character should be made in just two strokes. Okay, so it's one, two, so without lifting the pen. And one more. Oh. This is O. Oh. All right, so we've got the T, like from before, but instead of a loop around, like a lasso, we have like a whip. So it's whipping stuff. And then there's this mark off to the side, like a whip crack maybe? I don't know how we can visualize it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So up, down, around. It's out in front though, and then this area. Okay. Make it just three strokes, so one, two, three. The vertical line is to the left of the character, not in the center. The vertical line. <laughs> okay. Oh, so they want to have me draw it from over there. Okay. <sighs> ah, e, o. A, I, U, E, and O. If I'm not mistaken. And it may be, which is totally fine. Because we're here to learn a little bit of stuff. Yeah, would I like to save my progress so far? Yes. Yeah, see, I wrote it down. I put it down in file 5 so that I wouldn't accidentally erase it. So we'll put this one in file number 2. Study guide 1. Terrible. <laughs> yep. Right. Yep, yeah, we have to go slow. Right. We have to go slow. The order of the strokes, yep. That is the character. Ah. Okay, this is the character. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Oh, it must have been this F. F. With the cape. Okay. This 
is, oh, this is ooh. <laughs> this is ooh. Ooh with a heart. With half a heart. So, oh. This is E, the one with the horns. Looks like a set of horns. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really drill that. Are fairly weak. All right. Okay, if you use laws, you can confirm selections with enter. Okay. Right, this he can't. He's gotta. Nope. Kidnapped. Okay, so we've got to hit them with their letter. So, ah. Get the wrong answer. Get the wrong answer, they don't take any damage. Alright. They are making damage you much easier. Okay. HP and MP, your support skills, okay. Okay. Ooh, status effects. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So we fight. And answer. And we've gotta go this way. Okay, we got him. <coughs> Alright, so this is up. I'm gonna do that same for Misaki and Air. Alright, so there we go. And Ah is out. And we gain some XP. Yay! XP? <laughs> XP and Battle Spoils, which. I can't remember what that symbol means. Yep. Remune to restore your HP. Okay. To revive. Okay. Oh, Remune and revives. Okay. Let's do King Save. I think that'll be a good spot to end this one. We're gonna have to go after Leon and what's his face, Eric, next time, I guess. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Keep on going with the gaming journey and your life journey too. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.